Hello, I'm Kyle, and this is Ask an Engineer, where we answer all of your questions about concrete and foundation repair. And I know you want to know more about that. So, let's go. So your concrete is sinking, and you don't want the expense of replacing it, so you want to know if there are options for how to fix it. Well, congratulations, you're in the right place. If you want to know more about how this happens, come on to our page and we'll get you up to speed. But right now we're going to talk about ways that this can be fixed. The original method is called mud jacking. And that's where holes are drilled into the concrete and a fluid called a cement slurry is pumped below the concrete, building up pressure and then lifting it up into place. This can work, but it has a lot of drawbacks. First of all, for that pressure to build up, the slurry has to be entirely contained. If it finds an escape route, we can't build the pressure and things get very, very messy. The slurry then has to hold the slab in place for several hours while it hardens. A more modern approach is called polyurethane foam injection. And that also drills holes in the slab, but instead of pumping slurry, now we're injecting polyurethane foam. And this has a chemical reaction that does some amazing things. Two fluids mix together underneath the concrete and they expand and push. So it expands with a lot of force and it hardens with a lot of strength. So don't let the word foam fool you because this stuff is hard and strong. This gives us a great deal more control over the concrete lift. As the fluid spreads, expands, and pushes, it doesn't rely on the buildup of pressure like mud jacking does. So if it does find a leak, it only takes a couple of minutes for it to harden and block off that path. So if you're a homeowner, those advantages might not mean that much to you. But how about this one? Mud jacking uses holes that are over two inches in diameter. That's the size of this racquetball. Polyurethane foam injection can use holes as small as 3 eighths of an inch. That's about as wide as the end of this AAA battery. That is a tremendous difference. So if you're gonna ask me if mud jacking works, my answer is gonna have to be yes. But if you also ask me if a rotary phone will work, my answer is also gonna be yes. So do you see what I'm saying here? Polyurethane foam injection brings us a lot of advantages both for the installer and the homeowner. So hopefully you can see all those advantages that polyurethane foam injection brings. Now if you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up below, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, drop a comment, do all of the things. But be sure and come back here next time where we'll continue to answer all of your foundation repair questions right here on Ask an Engineer. I'm Kyle and I'm out.